Through Athens, deeply stirred by new domestic problems, march British soldiers. Internal friction over governmental structures divides the Greek nation in the midst of a global war. Archbishop Damaskinos and a British friend confer. To the conference comes the French ambassador with American and Russian officials. Waiting with General Plasteris at his hotel are Anthony Eden and Field Marshal Alexander of Britain. All are waiting for a famous visitor. Britain's most traveled premier arrives at headquarters. Archbishop Damaskinos and Churchill discuss a regency for Greece. Outside the hotel, alert soldiers search the sewers and find sacks of explosives. A soldier on patrol discovered wires leading to the bags of explosives 10 feet below. Plenty of ammunition is hauled from under the ground. They dynamite as German in origin. Agreeing on a regency, Churchill declares he will urge the king to accept the archbishop as regent. While a light air power was temporarily grounded and observation planes sat silently shrouded in the overhanging mist of the European winter, fast-moving allied rolling stock and foot-slogging infantry pushed doggedly over waterlogged marshlands. This was no minor battle. The von Rundstedt offensive had penetrated deep into Belgium and Luxembourg. Backed up by long-hearted men and equipment, the enemy lines moved in swiftly, trying to make up with surprise what they lacked in equipment. This film, taken from a captured German film unit, is evidence of their accomplishment. The German Royal Tiger Tank. Backed up by picked German infantry, this was no easy army to hold back. Confident and determined, this army swept forward in style that reminded them of 1940 successes. Once again, the Nazi was a superman. As filmed by the German cameraman, it would have looked so easy to the German folks back home. American equipment burned under the heat of their early advances. American jeeps and half-tracks lay smoldering under the swift rush of the German advance. This was what the Fuhrer had promised. This was German war. These captured American cigarettes tasted much better than the ersatz cigarettes these German soldiers had been smoking. Reminiscent of the early war in France, these people fled before the German onslaught, crowding the roads to seek safety with the Americans. The refugees were quickly dealt with by Allied authorities. Women and children felt again the full impact of war as they were helped into American vehicles and taken out of danger. American military police checked identification cards to prevent enemy infiltration. Even American soldiers were checked. The enemy did not stop the flow of supplies to the front. The Germans were still coming and defenses were set. Trees were prepared for a temporary roadblock if necessary. Under the cover of machine guns, anti-tank mines were placed. American tanks move up for battle. 
Breaking through the woods, they take their positions. Bazooka men wait for Nazi tanks. Camouflage tanks and heavy guns were ready. Troops are poured in from the north and south to surround the enemy. More troops and more equipment continue forward in a steady stream. With enough equipment in reserve, American forces kept the icy roads filled with the rattle of their armor. Infantry moved in over the snow-covered ground to retake some of the land they had lost. Slowly the tide of the great German offensive was beginning to turn. The tanks, supplies, and men von Rundstedt had saved for this gamble were beginning to feel the pinch of the Allied strategy. The front remained fluid, and every move the Germans made became a sacrifice. After the initial surprise and quick gains, the enemy was feeling the weight of American artillery and heavy tanks. Some of the Nazis had died. Others took the easy way and surrendered. After the first men surrendered, others hurried out of the building to seek safety. American aid men carried for the wounded. While the infantry and artillery pushed against the enemy, the American air forces waited for weather. And as the skies cleared, they were again filled with the long telltale trails of vapor as American bombers under heavy ak ak fire swept in to seek out the enemy. American 8th Air Force fighter bombers swooped down to hit the Nazis. Hard-hitting American fighters were forcing hundreds of the enemy's planes from the skies and ensuring victory over this great German bid. <laughs> 